Hi friends, once again back to biology exams for you.com. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is the difference between fungus and animals in detail. Starting with the definition. Fungi are eukaryotic, microscopic or microscopic, non-chlorophyllated, spore-bearing, filamentous, heterotrophic thallophytes which reproduce asexually and sexually. We will be discussing each term in the coming slides. Whereas animals, they are also eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms, but having specialized sense organs and nervous system that helps to respond rapidly to stimulus. Moving into difference number two, that is regarding cell wall and movement. Fungus is having a rigid cell wall which is primarily made up of chitin. There are other components also that include glucans, then there is glycolipid, then polysaccharides and even some pigments. Fungus don't move around because of the presence of cell wall. Whereas in the case of animals, the outermost boundary is the cell membrane. Animal cell lacks cell wall, therefore it can move. All animals can move at least during some stages of their life cycle. They need to move in search of food. Difference number three regarding mode of nutrition. In fungus, the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic and absorptive. So this is a fungus that is growing on the substratum. It secretes digestive enzymes. It is actually sitting on the food and it secretes enzyme and feed by absorption. So this is a microscopic view. This is a fruiting body. You can see the hyphae that is moving around and that is on the substratum that secretes enzyme and absorbs nutrients. Mods include saprotrophic, feeding on dead decayed matter, parasitic or symbiotic in association with plants like mycorrhizal association or lichens where the symbiotic association with fungus and algae where both partners are mutually benefited. Whereas in the case of animals, the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic as fungus, but holozoic. There is a digestive system. Animals can ingest solid food pad materials and it can internally digest the material. There is an elaborate complex system and helps to absorb that food materials into their bodies. So the difference is in fungi, the nutrition is heterotrophic and absorptive, whereas in animals it is heterotrophic and holozoic, ingesting solid food materials directly. Difference number four, regarding the organization or body. Fungal thallus is generally multicellular with filaments called hyphae and network of hyphae makes mycelium. So this is a fruiting body. That is actually, we are seeing the fruiting body of mushrooms this is mushroom is actually the fruiting body of fungus so this is an aggregation of hyphae you can see this individual filaments are called as hyphae and this massive network is called as mycelium whereas in the case of animals the body is multicellular that is well differentiated into tissues organs and organ systems there are different organ systems take the case of circulatory system a single muscle cell then it organized to form muscle tissue, later forming an organ that is heart and finally forming a circulatory system. There are many systems in animals finally making an organism. Digestive system, respiratory system, immune system, etc. Difference number five, that is response to stimuli. Fungus, like plants, are comparatively slow in response and can sense environment and react accordingly, changing their development, growing pattern, metabolism, etc. The response is quite slow in comparison with animals. Whereas in animals, they are capable of responding quickly to external stimuli as they are having new cells, there is sensory neuron and also motor neuron and muscle cells, etc. Meeting coordinated action of these Nerve cells and muscle cells 
helps them to respond quickly. Difference number six regarding reproduction. In fungus reproduction can be both sexually or asexually. Asexual reproduction mainly by means of zoospores, conidia, etc. It is having comparatively complex life cycle. Most fungus are having haploid dominant life cycle with a long dicaryotic phase. That is a typical characteristic of fungus. This is a dicaryotic phase where in a cell two nuclei of different strains exist without fusion and these can be prolonged. That is why it is called as dicaryotic phase and that is a typical characteristic of fungus. And diploid stage is very short comparatively. Asexual reproduction is very common and that occurs during favorable condition where asexual reproduction is generally occurring during unfavorable condition. Whereas in the case of animals, generally reproduce sexually and involves two individuals contributing genetic material to produce offspring. It's a comparatively simple life cycle. You can see the male and the female can meet, that is egg and sperm. Then that fuses to form a diploid zygote and that zygote undergoes mitosis and form, divides and redivides and differentiates to form a complete organism. So it's a diploid dominant life cycle and the only haploid stage that is in gametes, that is in egg and sperm. So fungus is having a haploid dominant life cycle with dicaryotic phase and animals is having a diploid dominant life cycle with haploid phase representing only during gamete formation. And that's it. Hope you got the point. You have with biologyexamsforyou.com. Thank you so much for your support.